Yo, what's up guys? I know it's been a while, but we're back and we're here to stay this time. We're gonna kick it off with a video that I think is really gonna help a lot of people. Um, I've still been monitoring the Discord server and I've seen that there's been a lot of people asking for help on their team, what to add, what's something they could do to, to make their team better. And one of the things that I've noticed is people either don't have these Pokemon on their team or they're not using them right. So we're gonna get right into it. So these Pokemon are something I like to call engine Pokemon. So an engine Pokemon is essentially a Pokemon that boosts either the physical special attack set of your Pokemon or both. The reason why I recommend everyone have an engine Pokemon on their team is because they boost the stats of your Pokemon and depending on your lineup, it can either be a huge boost in offense or it can be a huge boost in healing. So there are really only five engine Pokemon in the game as of right now. We have Ash's Charizard, we have Ash's Greninja, we have Diance, we have Shaman, and we have Hoopa. So a good example would be Shaman. Shaman with the move Return, it deducts some of its HP and it boosts the physical and special attack set of your team by 20% for three rounds. So it can stack up to a total of three times. And then along with its passive, at 10 stars, it's gonna add an extra 3% every single time you use the move. So the reason why this is super important to have on a team, if it's not Shaman, then Hoopa, Diance, or another engine is because it not only will increase the damage you deal from your sweepers but it's going to increase the amount of healing you do once you get to 100 percent boost it literally doubles everything so if you heal for 500,000 total around you're going to be healing for a million if you do 300,000 true damage with a groudon you're going to be doing 600,000 true damage with a groudon so an engine pokemon is really really important on a team it maximizes the amount of damage the amount of healing you can do it can either make you take out opponents faster or it can make you last longer against opponents so that you can take them out. There are two options for engine Pokemon for people that can't pay the $400 cumulative recharge. So we have Ash's Charizard and we have Ash's Greninja. Both Pokemon you can get during a Mewtwo event for around 15,000 diamonds if you save up um, from your purchases or you just save up whatever diamonds you have. You can buy them in the daily discount shop for 100 diamonds a, a shard. So the first option is Ash's Charizard. So Ash's Charizard increases everyone's physical attack by 20% for three rounds. Out of all the engine Pokemon, I feel like this one is one of the weaker ones just because um, it's not gonna boost the special attack stat also, which helps the healer Pokemon. But if you're running Ash's Greninja and physical sweepers like Groudon and Zekrom, they won't get the boost to damage. So it's a give and take. You boost your your damage from your physical sweepers, but you lose the boost to healing. The second option is Ash's Greninja. So Ash's Greninja boosts the special attack set of a Pokemon by 20% for three rounds. So that's a total of 60% boost. The good thing about Ash's Greninja is that he boosts the healing of your team because it boosts the special attack set. If you do run a team with a bunch of special attack sweepers like Mewtwo, Kyogre, Reshiram, this is going to be a really good engine for you to have because it's going to boost their damage and your healing. So I would place this one as the second to last of the of the engine Pokemon. So next we have Primal Diance. So Primal Diance is a really good engine Pokemon because Trick Room is going to boost the physical and special attack set of everyone by 30%. And if you can sustain it, it's going to give it a 90% boost. So it's already way more than Ash Greninja and Ash's Charizard are going to give. And it's also really, really bulky. It has 245 base HP and it has really, really good defensive stats. So it's not going to die, which is something you want for your engine Pokemon. You want them to be as bulky as possible and as fast as possible. And luckily, Primal Diance is pretty fast. The only bad thing is that Trick Room costs 65, so you're most likely going to have to run it with a Blissey. But if you already run Blissey on a team, then it's not really that bad. And it would be a good engine Pokemon if you want to use it as an engine instead of a healer. So for everyone else that can get the $400 recharge, I would recommend getting a Sky Shaman. So Sky Shaman, the reason why I think it's better than Primal Diance is because it doesn't cost as much to sustain. You could run a team without Blissey. You can just give it a Mystery Berry and a Mental Herb and it'll only lose 5 SP around. You can use Return 11 times in a row without having to, to wait a turn. And it's really bulky as well. Has very good physical defense, um, special defense and HP stats. So Sky Shaman doesn't give as big of a boost as Primal Diance does initially. But Sky Shaman has a passive that increases... Um, their special and physical attack stats by 3%. So every time you use a move, you're going to increase by 3%. So if you use the move return three turns in a row, instead of having a 60% boost, you're going to have a 69% boost. And the passive doesn't fade away, so the 3% is always going to be there. So every time you use it. So Sky Shaman actually has the ability to go to 100% if you don't mind waiting um, a few extra turns. So the last engine Pokemon is Hoopa Unbound. It's almost the same as Diane's. It's not as bulky. It still has a Trick Room. The difference is in its breaks. So Hoopa by itself 
is a really, really good engine. It's the best engine out there if you can get it to Gen 3. So the reason why I say Hoopa is the best one is because at Gen 2, it gets 10 SP around. Once you get to Gen 3, it gives a 45% boost for three rounds. So after turn two, you're already gonna have a 90% boost. You're gonna have to use Shaman's return ability with 10 stars in order to get a 90% boost where Hoopa can just get it in two rounds if you have it at Gen 3. So if you do have one of these engine Pokemon and you're not using it for its buff, then it's not being used to the best of its ability. You can really help your team out a lot. You'll be able to heal for more, you'll be able to deal more damage, and you'll be able to get to higher stages in the map, better gyms, higher expeditions. You'll be able to beat more people in PvP. But if you want your team to perform to the best of its ability, you have to run an engine Pokemon. So thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. I know it was a while since I uploaded a video, but my schedule changed and we're back and I'm going to start uploading them more often. So if you want to show your support and you want to help me make more videos, leave a like, share this video with as many people as you can, subscribe because I'm going to be rolling out with a new video every week now. I'm really happy to start making videos again, guys. So until next time, peace.